We are gathered here for a webinar on the topic Nutrition Tips During COVID-19 Pandemic organized by Women's Study Unit, Science Club and Department of Biochemistry and Industrial Microbiology, Sri Ayappa College, Eramalikara. To enlighten us, we have an esteemed resource person, Dr. Meera D.K., Assistant Professor in Food and Nutrition, Government College for Women, Trivandrum. If, if there was ever a time that made us pay attention to our health, it has been this one of the COVID-19 pandemic. Not only observing public health measures, but also healthy eating is urgent need of our. Most of us are unaware about the nutrition tips during this pandemic period. So, I wish all of you maximum utilize this session to become aware about it. First of all, let's start our session with a prayer. I invite Anjana from BZ and IMB Department for prayer. Lukam Muruven Sukham Pagaranai Sneha Deepami Miri Turaku Lukam Muruven Sukham Pagaranai Sneha Deepami Miri Turaku Katana Nivare Nakani Vinuravi Katin Nadu Vilvari Teleku Lukam Muruven Sukham Pagarana Sneha Deepami Miri Turaku Sukham Pagarana Sneha Deepami Miri Turaku Lokam Muruven Sukham Pagarana Sneha Deepami Miri Turaku Thank you, Anjana. Now I welcome Dr. Rajya Miss for the welcome speech. Actually, this is not my duty uh, initially, but uh, Amina told me to do so. So I heartily welcome all of you to this meeting. First of all, I would like to welcome our principal who is uh, giving our presidential address, uh, Professor Casey Pragasar. Welcome, sir, to this function. Uh, I, I would like to welcome our chief guest and speaker of the day, Dr. Meera Sunil, to this meeting. Welcome, Meera, to this uh, talk. I also like to welcome our HOD, Dr. Nita, our colleague, Dr. Genga, and the teacher from other institute, Dr. Bhagya and all other teaching and non-teaching staff to this meeting. Also, I heartily welcome all the students who is participating in this meeting. Uh, I again, I all heartily welcome all of you to this meeting. Thank you. Amina. Thank you, Miss. Now I welcome Amina S. of s 2 bc and IMB department to introduce the resource person. Good evening all. I am Amina, first year student of Biochemistry and Industrial Microbiology Department of Sri Ayappa College. It gives me great pleasure to introduce our resource person of today's webinar. We are honored this evening by the presence of our chief guest, Dr. Meera DK, Assistant Professor, PG Department of Home Science, Food and Nutrition in Government Women's College, Trivandrum, who will be taking webinar on the most relevant topic, nutrition tips during COVID-19 pandemic. 
about Dr. Meera, I'm so excited to say that we got an eminent personality for grace in today's session. She holds a PhD in home science from University of Kerala in 2020. She did her master's degree in home science and specialized in food and nutrition from Government Women's College Varizakka Trivandrum of Kerala University in 2004. She has graduated in clinical nutrition and dietetics from University of Kerala in 2001. Dr. Meera had contributed several publications and presentations on various topics. She has lifetime memberships in Nutrition Society of India and Indian Dietetic Association. We are really fortunate to have you on today's webinar. I sincerely thank Women's Study Unit and Science Club in association with BC and IMB Department of Shreyapa College for coordinating this webinar. I expect this talk will be an informative one on the topic which is relevant in this pandemic situation. So I'm handing this platform to our resource person, Dr. Meera, for taking webinar. Ma'am, please, it's all up to you. Thank you, Amina. Thank you for your kind uh, introduction. So good evening, all. It's my pleasure to be part of this event. Uh, well, this uh, talk is uh, conducted in connection with the National Nutrition Week celebration, which is normally held from September 1st to 7th. But the whole month is also supposed to celebrate uh, this event. So the purpose behind uh, this uh, celebration is to spread awareness on good nutrition and health. So we know that our government has taken initiatives normally focusing on a, a nutrition, good food, healthy body uh, and lifestyle. Uh, so uh, the theme of National Nutrition Week 2021, this made uh, feed smart right from the start. So that is the theme for National Nutrition Week 2021. Now, uh, let's move into the presentation. Uh, so first of all, let me share my PPT for you. Hello, is it visible now? Raja, is it visible? Visible, visible. Now it's visible. OK. Yes, yes. So the topic for today is that nutrition tips during COVID-19 pandemic. Today, we knew that the entire world is battling against COVID-19. So the long-term consequence of this pandemic will transform our workplace, education, globalization, and more. And no corner of the global economy will be unaffected. So it is important now that more than ever to have a healthy lifestyle. So it become a mandatory to attain and maintain a good nutritional status to fight against the virus. For that, we should follow an optimal nutrition and dietary intake because it has some great impact on our immune system. Therefore, that is the only sustainable way to survive in current context to strengthen our immunity system. So today, my presentation is an attempt to explore the importance of nutrition to boost immunity and the give some professional and authentic dietary guidelines uh, about nutrition and food safety uh, to withstand this COVID-19. So we will see how nutrition can help to fight against COVID-19 pandemic. Try to eat well-balanced diet and avoid irregular snacking. See, people who eat a well-balanced diet, they have a tendency to be healthier and it also reduces the risk of chronic illness and infectious diseases. Second point is maintain a healthy lifestyle of exercise, regular sleep and meditation. So along with a well-balanced diet, it is important that you should follow a healthy lifestyle, which include a regular exercise, good sleep and meditation. A proper diet can ensure that the body is in a proper state to defeat the virus. It is very important that we should include variety of food in our daily diet. That is to ensure the intake of all nutrients. And it has been said that uh, to add more colors on your plate, that is you can incorporate the seasonal fruits and uh, veggies to make up all the colors of the rainbow. Uh, that is to get a variety of different nutrients. So moving to the next part, boost your immune system. How we can boost our immune system? 
you know a truly healthy immune system that depends on a balanced healthy diet so it's a kind of training we are giving a training for our body uh, for a battle uh, between our body and our and the viruses or the bacteria which come to attack us so let's see what are the uh, important points we have to consider to boost our immune system the first thing is to improve your diet we know the what food you eat that play a very important role in determining your overall health and immunity if you have a low carbohydrate diet definitely it will help you to reduce your weight and you should focus more on a protein rich diet to to keep you in a good shape and also it is important to have vegetables and uh, fruits uh, which is rich in beta carotene vitamin c and other essential vitamins uh, you should all consume all those things in a regular basis and certain foods like uh, uh, tomato leaf uh, green leafy vegetables all are good options to build a resilience in the body against the infection and also some natural uh, immunity supplements are also included in the uh, spices like ginger then gooseberries gooseberries means uh, in malayalam we will call it nellika and the turmeric so all uh, food we are consider as a super foods because it is a, uh, it gives some natural uh, immunity to our body because all these uh, and also these all these super foods are the common ingredients in our indian dishes and the snacks in addition to this there are several herbs uh, which help in our boosting uh, which will which helps our uh, to boost our immunity like uh, garlic uh, black cumin then certain seeds and nuts like uh, sunflower seeds flax seeds uh, melon seeds all are excellent source of protein and vitamin e uh, all these nutrients are very essential to boost our nutrients then another group is called probiotics probiotics means yogurt curd and uh, fermented food all are considered as a probiotic they are excellent sources uh, to renew the compositions of our bacteria in gut actually in our intestine there are certain bacteria are there which is very important for our nutrient absorption as well as the synthesis of some nutrients so that all are in connection uh, to improve our immune system next is don't compromise on your sleep it is said that we have to sleep for at least 7 to 8 hours that is the best way to help your body to build immunity the person who sleep less uh, actually uh, that will leave you tired and uh, sometimes it, it will impair our body functions also so that have some uh, times a direct impact on your immunity so sleep is very important next point is stay hydrated stay hydrated means drink water that is up to 8 to 10 glasses of water every day that will keep you to uh, that will keep you hydrated because hydration uh, that will help to flush out the toxins from our body and also it reduces the chance of occurrence of any kind of diseases so instead uh, along with water you can have some juices made from citrus fruits and also natural drink like coconut water all these things will help you to beat the heat next is don't skip on exercise so we have discussed about the importance of diet and all so along with a good diet we should be followed an exercise routine also actually uh, doing exercise regularly even it is a light exercise also it will helps to release the toxins from our body normally it is recommended that uh, the exercise you, ha you have to done from 30 to 40 minutes that will depends on your stamina so uh, if you have not yet started i think this is the right time to start it uh, you will get lot of youtube uh, videos and apps are also available so you can do exercise in home itself okay and also this exercise also improves the metabolism uh, so it having some correlation with our body immunity next is distress yourself we know this is a kind of a testing time for us because we are uh, unlocked uh, ourselves for a long time uh, that will definitely affect our mental well being also so the, it is very uh, because the situation is like that only uh, the our the current situation is uh, something uh, uncertainty about this situation when 
uh, we can go back to our normal life when this pandemic come to end everything all such thoughts will uh, definitely uh, created stress on your body so it is very important that uh, we should relieve our stress so because uh, this uh, stress is having some adverse effect on the immunity so you can do some meditations or yoga that is all our best way to relieve your stress uh, next uh, option is you can travel but please remember that avoid all kinds of non essential travels we know that most covid 19 positive cases are uh, imported cases that will later spread into our communities so uh, try to avoid uh, to export to the public transport system and the public places to avoid such uh, exposures in case you have to travel make sure that you should cover your nose and mouth and please carry a sanitizer with you next point is supplement and immunity boosting food well all the above mentioned tips will definitely help you but the need of the hour is a quick boost your immunity system to keep it fighting fit so if you are concerned whether you are getting the right amount of nutrients from your diet uh please consult with your doctor and have a, a supplementation regimen to boost your immune system but i must say that uh, never take any uh, supplement for a long time if you take uh, taking any supplements uh, you can continue for a uh, two weeks after then you can take a break then you can continue so supplements like vitamin c d and zinc the all are good uh, to improve our immune system so these are the certain points uh, which helps you uh, helps you to boost your immune system now next eight vitamins and minerals you need for a healthy immune system so these are certain uh, top vitamins and minerals uh, your immune system needs to perform the first one is vitamin c vitamin c uh, may help to prevent the infections and it will uh, reduce uh, the staying of infections in our body the food sources of vitamin c include the citrus fruit all fruits are rich in vitamin c then green leafy vegetables sprouts Uh, all those things are rich in vitamin C. Next nutrient is vitamin E. Vitamin E uh, can be a powerful antioxidant uh, that will helps your body to fight off infection. So the uh, nuts, uh, oils, all those are rich sources of vitamin E. So the third nutrient is vitamin A. Vitamin A is a um, what? Uh, vitamin A is a infection fighter. uh normally all orange colored vegetables and fruits are rich in vitamin a so normal food sources include carrots uh, sweet potatoes pumpkin green leafy vegetables all are rich in vitamin a next is vitamin d we know vitamin d is known as sunshine vitamin because that is the natural source of uh, vitamin d actually the food rich in vitamin d is a uh, very limited but um Uh, you you will get it from the nat um, diet uh, through the diet also like uh, the food uh, uh, which is rich in vitamin d included like salmon mackerel tuna sardines and fortified foods also um, available fortified food means uh, adding or increasing the uh, nutrient in that particular food okay uh, so vitamin d fortified foods such as milk orange juice and cereals also available So next is folate and folic acid. Folate is a natural form, and folic acid is a synthetic form. Beans, lentils, lean, leafy, green leafy vegetables, avocado, uh, fortified foods also available here. Next is iron. Iron also very important nutrient for our body. It carries uh, oxygen to our cells, and also it plays very important roles in immune system process. so the red meat chicken turkey oysters mussels all are, are all are the food sources of iron next is selenium uh, this uh, selenium seems to have a powerful effect on the immune system uh, the seafood like tuna sardines meat and liver poultry cottage cheese are examples for the food source for selenium next is zinc mm, zinc is normally needed for the production of new immune system cells the zinc rich food include oysters crab lean meats and poultry so these are the uh, few top vitamins and minerals your immune system needs to perform so next is the dietary guideline should follow during this pandemic 
So eat a well-balanced diet to be healthier with a stronger immune system and to lower your risk of chronic illness and infectious disease. So eat a variety of fresh and unprocessed food every day to get the vitamins, minerals, dietary fiber, protein, and antioxidants that your body needs. So here are some professional and authentic dietary guidelines to withstand the COVID-19. Eat fruits daily. So in bracket, you can see a few foods has been mentioned, but you can have the seasonal fruits. Okay, so eat fruits daily with a serving size of two cups or four servings. You can include the two cups in a four times in a day. Next, eat fresh vegetables. That is two and a half cups of vegetables. Then legumes include beans and lentils. Eat whole grains and nuts. That's about 180 gram of grains. Grains such as oats, wheat, millet, brown rice, like that. Use nuts like almonds, co coconut, and pistachio or pista. So in case of red meat, you can have it once or twice per week because having red meat for a long time will increase the cholesterol level in your body. So poultry it is a lean fat meat. So you can have it at least two to three times per week. Uh, but in, along with all this meat, please uh, ensure that uh, you should have some vegetable salad also. That is also very important. You should add some fiber when you uh, eat such meats. Okay. Then for snacks, uh, choose fresh fruits and raw vegetables uh, rather than uh, foods that are high in sugar, salt. Fat and avoid irregular snacking. So, if you want to go for a snack, always try source of important nutrients such as vitamins and minerals. So, it is very important. Uh, actually, there are some volatile uh, nutrients in the food like vitamin A, C. So, if you cook uh, such things for a long time, what happened here is these uh, nutrients will be escaped from the uh, from the uh, that escaped under that is that that won't be available to our body. So, it is very important never cook. Uh, Overcook the vegetables. Make sure the food is prepared and served at the acceptable temperatures. Limit the salt intake to 5 grams a day. Not only salt, um, also sugar. Sugar is, and salt, um, it has been said that uh, the uh, three white substances which causes cancer is salt, sugar and maida. So try to reduce the intake of salt and sugar. Next, consume unsaturated fats. Unsaturated fats are normally found in uh, avocado, fish, nuts, soy, olive oil. Uh, then it, um, so in, uh, reduce the saturated fats, which is normally found in butter, fatty meat, like that. Drink eight to 10 glasses of water every day because water is very important. Uh, it has a lot of functions in our body, like it helps to transport nutrients in the blood, it gets rid of waste and regulate the body temperature. Avoid all PC carbonate concentrated juice. And all. I think sound is breaking, Mira. Uh, and all drinks which contain sugars. So instead of that, uh, you can have some natural drinks. Never ever go for uh, that uh, synthetic drinks like that. May okay. Now, how is it? Is okay. okay? Can I continue? Continue. Okay. Along with uh, uh, this, that is important that we should uh, keep a healthy lifestyle also. And eat at home to avoid contact with other people and try to reduce the chance of being exposed to the COVID-19. And in addition to all this, please strictly follow the timely given health advice by our government um, regard to social distancing and also hygienic practices such as hand washing and all. So next is nutrition advice by WHO, that is World Health Organization during the corona pandemic. So all these points we have uh, discussed in the previous slide. I just included this a quick look to remind you the healthy tips once again. Eat fresh and unprocessed food. Drink 8 to 10 cups of water every day. Eat healthy fats. 
limit your salt intake sugar intake avoid eating out and reach out for help reach out for help means if you are a covid positive or if you have any chronic disease definitely you should contact the medical professional for the help so these are the uh, points uh, you should uh, these are the healthy tips which is given by the world health organization uh, to fight against this pandemic now we reach to the most interesting part of today's presentation myth busters or we can uh, say misconception or misunderstanding actually uh, during the beginning of the covid outbreak there are lot of um, concerns uh, regarding it having food and uh, uh, covid uh, so i just uh, take few common questions normally the people used to raise uh, during that time or this time also so the questions were uh, can i get covid 19 from food so that is a something a very common questions uh, we have heard during the initial time of the covid outbreaks actually uh, there is no evidence that people can catch covid 19 from food or the food packaging because they, we know that covid 19 is a respiratory illness and the transmission transmission route is only through the person to person contact and through the direct contact uh, with the respiratory droplets from the affected person so that is not possible next question is can the virus live on the surface of food including fruits vegetables frozen fruit pre-pack the food like that so the fact is actually we this virus need a live animal or a human host to multiply and to survive so it cannot multiply on the surface of the food packages so as per the world health organization also they were saying like uh, it is not necessary to disinfect the food packaging materials but it is very important that you should wash your hands properly after handling and pack a, um, and uh, after handling these food packages and all and before heating next question is can the virus that cause covid 19 be transmitted through the conception of cooked food including the animal food for this question also there is no any current evidence normally uh, this virus uh, that cause covid 19 is killed at the temperature similar to that of other known viruses also so food such as a meat poultry egg uh, that can uh, we uh, all such we have to cook it thoroughly so before cooking the raw animal products should be handled with a very care that is to avoid the close contamination with the cooked food so next question is how to wash fruits and vegetable just with water or something else so you can wash uh, your fruits and vegetables with the same way you would in any other circumstances the one thing uh, should take care is before handling them wash your hands with the soap and water then wash fruits and vegetables thoroughly with the clean water especially uh, if you eat such uh, fruits and vegetables in a raw form next question is can micronutrient vitamin and mineral supplements prevent covid-19 in healthy individuals or cure it in those with a covid-19 uh, diseases so the answer is no uh, there is no any um, current evidence uh, that a micronutrient supplementation uh, can prevent the covid-19 in a healthy individual definitely these micronutrients are very important for a well functioning immune system and it have a very important role in promoting our health and nutritional well-being also so uh, the one thing is wherever possible if you get a micronutrient like through a natural source that is the better thing instead of taking the supplements but uh, in some but it is some more mostly the studies has been proven that it is not possible uh, in some cases okay so next is are vitamin d supplements need, uh, need needed if individuals are not exposed to sunlight due to the lockdown we know this uh, vitamin uh, d is a mm, um, the natural sources of the vitamin d is a sunlight but uh, the studies has been proved that the vitamin d content in our body is something in a marginal level so uh, it is very important uh, uh, you can have that vitamin d from the natural sources like a fatty fishes like salmon tuna mackerel like that food can be included in your diet and also uh, you can uh, have the fortified food uh, with the vitamin d can also have included in that your diet 
Next is, are there any herbal teas or herbal supplement that may help to prevent or cure COVID-19? Uh, for this question also, the real fact is no any evidence is available now. Uh, whether any herbal uh, teas or herbal supplement will help to prevent or cure the COVID-19. Next is, can eating ginger or garlic pepper that will help to prevent the COVID-19? So the study says um, saying that no, because there is no evidence that eating uh, ginger, garlic will protect people from the COVID-19. Anyhow, this uh, ginger and garlic have some antimicrobial and anti-inflammatory properties, but it, will, it may reduce the uh, severe condition during this COVID-19. So, but uh, it cannot prevent the occurrence of this COVID-19. So that's all. So let me conclude. Uh, actually, a proper diet can help to ensure that our body is in a strongest possible state to battle the virus. And no one knows how long these virus safety measures will need to stay in place. But it presents a perfect time to per protect and improve your health while practicing this social distancing. So healthy eating is especially very important for keeping your immune system in a top condition. Therefore, a balanced diet with a more active lifestyle will definitely Im uh, strengthen your immune system uh, and uh, support your body during this pandemic like COVID-19. So here are the references I have taken uh, for this presentation. So thank you for your time and listening today. And please remember that you are what you eat. So eat healthy, live long and live strong. Thank you once again. Thank you, ma'am, for your valuable information. And it was indeed an informative talk. Now, anyone can ask if you have any doubts. Please feel free to ask or put the questions in the chat box. Saying vegetarian lead one to protein deficiency and will they get to pro to the disease? No, we can't say like that. Uh, in vegetarian diet also, you can have the uh, protein uh, diets like you can have a uh, milk, then pulses. All are rich in protein, so you can include all those things in your meal. So it will it won't uh, let you in a protein deficiency state. Then the mother has also okay. yeah. The, is there any problem with a normal person take vitamin pills every day? Uh, never take uh, uh, these uh, vitamin supplements for a long time because it will cause uh, some hypervitaminosis in our body. So uh, that is also affect our vital organs. It have some toxic effect on our vital organs. So if you're having some supplements, you can continue at least for two weeks and you can take a break uh, for another uh, one and a half week and you can continue that is okay so never ever take any vitamin supplement for a long time okay okay so no more questions i think Also, you have, uh, you have any suggestions regarding the topic, you can also interact with us. So shall we wind up, Amina? I have also posted a Google form in the uh, uh, box, uh, kindly fill the form and send it amina yes ma'am thank you ma'am i welcome abirami sandhya of s2 bc and imb department for the vote of thanks thank you Kosha. am i audible good evening to one and all I am Abhirami Santhya, first year biochemistry and industrial microbiology student. As I was offered the opportunity to deliver the vote of thanks, I considered 
I consider it as my honor to extend a really hearty word of thanks to our resource person, Dr. Mira DK, who spared her time to fill each one of us with valuable knowledge, which is really needy at the moment of crisis. I warmly thank you for your effort on behalf of our college. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Uh, thank, you uh, thank you for thank giving you for me giving this opportunity, opportunity to take, take, take part, part in this event. event. So, so it was a well-organized well event. event. So I'd like so to I'd express like to my express sincere, sincere thanks, thanks to the to organizing committee, uh, especially my friend, Dr. Regia. Uh, so thank you once again. Thank you all. Thank you, Mira. Thanks a lot. I would like to thank uh, Abhi, 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 your sound is so sweet. I think you. Ipo, 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 Thank you, ma'am. Now, I would like to thank my fellow, Ms. Anjana Krishnan, Science Club member, for reciting a sweet prayer. Thank you, Anjana.